Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, we shall see how to perform operations related to limits. So there are several operations which we can perform with limits and which we shall see each one of them separately. For the first one I'm going to talk about is called the scalar multiplication. Let me write this here. Scalar scalar multiplication of limits. In here, if we have a limit like this, limit of a constant times a function f of x, constant b times a function f of x as x approaches c, we can write this as the constant, we, since the constant is not going to be it's not going to change its value. We're going to take pull it out out, out of that limit um, uh, operation and then write it out outside of the limit operation and then write the constant number times the limit of that function f of x as f of x as x approaches c. So a, a limit of a constant number times a function as x approaches c can be can be written out as the constant times the limit of the function as x approaches c. That is the scalar multiplication operation of a limit. The second one is sum of uh, two limits. Sum of two limits. Sum of limits, I'll say. Sum of two limits or more than two limits. In here, let us say, let, let f of x and g of x to be two limits. I'm sorry, let f of x and g of x be two functions. The limit of these two functions, f of x plus g of x, plus g of x, as x approaches c, again, as the limit of a uh, limit of the sum of two functions f of x plus g of x as x approaches c we can write this one out as limit of the first function f of x as x approaches c plus limit of the second function g of x as x approaches c like that so we can put it in words as the limit of a sum is the sum of the limits. Limit of two uh, lim limit of the sum of two functions is equal to the sum of the limits of the individual functions. That is what we are trying to say here. The third one is the difference of limits. The difference of two or more limits. Difference of limits. How does this? How does this uh, come out? It is very similar to the sum of two limits. Let us write it out as limit of the first function minus the limit of uh, uh, minus the second function. The difference of two limits as x approaches c is going to be equal to the limit of the first function f of x as x approaches c minus the limit of the second function g of x as x approaches c. So we can put it in words as the limit of a difference is, is the difference of the limits, isn't it? The, limit, the difference of two functions is equal to the the difference of individual uh, functions as uh, shown here the, the difference of individual limits as shown here the fourth one we want to know is about the product operation product of two limits product of two or more limits product of product of limits product of limits in here 
we're going to explain this as follows. If we have product of two limits like this, the first limit, the first function is f of x, and the second function is g of x. The first function times the times the second function as x approaches c. We can write this one out as the limit of the first function f of x as x approaches c times the limit of the second function g of x as x approaches c. So we can put it in words as the limit of a product of two, uh, uh, two functions is equal to the product of the limits is equal to the product of those individual limits like that. The fifth one we want to talk about is the coefficient uh, of limits. Coefficient of limits. In here, um, let me write this out. If we have a limit of a function which is in the numerator and then by a function which is in the denominator like that f of x is in the numerator g of x is in the denominator as x approaches c we can write this one out as the limit of the first function f of x as x approaches c in the numerator divided by the limit of the second function g of x as x approaches c in the denominator so we can uh, we can state it in terms of words as the limits of the coefficient the limits of the coefficient is the coefficient of the limits the limit of um, a, a coefficient f of x divided by g of x is equal to the coefficient of the limits. So we can write the limit of the first function divided by the limit of the second function. So the next one, the, the next operation we can perform is the power of limits. For example, let me write here power, power of limits, power of limits. In here, if we have a limit of a function f of x and if this as x tends to zero uh, x tends to c this whole thing is raised to the raised to the power of n of that of that kind we can state this one as follows the limit of that function f of x as x tends to c this whole operation can be raised to the power of n like that that is what is the power operation power uh, operation of uh, of these limits and in in terms of words we can state it as the limit of a limit limit of the nth uh, the 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 if we raise a limit to a power if we raise a limit to the power that whole thing can be raised to the power of n like that the seventh operation we want to perform is is as follows is the radical of a limit radical of a limit and how do we do this this is how we can do this let me write it in terms of a limit and then i will explain this limit the nth root of a limit of f of x, the limit of a function, the nth root of the limit of the function as x approaches c is going to be equal to the nth root of that whole term, the nth root of that whole limit, limit of the function f of x as f of x as x approaches c as x approaches c so that is the way we can we can write it out 
So this is how we want to use the operations which we want to so solve problems using these operations of limits. In my next presentation, we shall see how to solve examples related to limits.